Three of them were gone within maybe three or four hours. One of them I think sold within five minutes, which is awesome. Maybe even sooner, maybe like two minutes. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin and today we have a lot of cool stuff that sold. A lot of stuff that sold really, really fast. I mean, these things are flying out of here. I think I listed five in one day. Three of them were gone within maybe three or four hours. One of them I think sold within five minutes, which is awesome. Maybe even sooner, maybe like two minutes. And we've sold a bunch of stuff again. And we're really excited about it and we're really thankful for it. We hope your sales are going well out there as well. And I'm gonna pick a few items. I've already picked a few. I'm gonna go back and grab a couple more real quick. And then we'll get to showing you what sold here. And inside the eBay cave have two gifts that we're gonna talk about today. One from my old buddy, Vintage Digs, and I really love one of those plates, and I'm gonna show you those. Let's go back here and take a look what's sold. First thing here, and I did some switching here. A lot of Josh is gonna be this drawer. Had to cut his business card down to make that the lot of Josh drawer. By the way, and you might see this in time, I think he's given away on Friday a couple of mugs, or one mug. He's given away a mug that Reagan sent him on his Instagram page. So go over to Lot of Josh and you might have a shot to win that. All right, so All right, well, you can definitely tell it's the 4th of July, or the 4th of July is coming, I should say, with this guy selling. It says, the title says, Patriotic Teddy Bear, Progressive Plush, 13 inches, jointed legs. So it's got jointed legs right there. And this guy ended up selling for $14.88. I think I got this at Goodwill for 50 cents, but I'm not sure. Do you remember where I got this? It's been a long time because this is something that, that she would have taken a picture of and put on her store but it's not on her store. So my guess is we've had this for probably 15 to 18 months is my guess. So it didn't sell last 4th of July, which is a little bit of a surprise because this is something I would have put on her store and we didn't have her store, which is obviously why I listed it on this one. $14.88, free shipping, but it's really light. All right, we got another one of those Sunny Shares sales dresses right here. This is a vintage A-line. My wife listed it and we got $24.95. And this is going to be free shipping and it will stay under 16 ounces and we get half the money after all the expenses and all the shipping and then Sonny gets the other half of the money. So Sonny, this reminded me actually that I owe you some money. So at the end of each month, I give him his half. And so this one's a little bit less than last time. Well, let's take a look at how much money we've made so far. All right, so with that A-line dress, $595 profit to be split two ways so far. And I'd say we're getting close to selling about half the stuff so far. So Sonny, I just went to your PayPal account and I sent you your money for the month. Hopefully you see it. Check it on there and make sure it's right. All right, I'm just gonna show you the picture so I don't have to grab the whole thing. Uh, this is not the best camcorder in the world or palm quarter. Panasonic is the palm quarter. PV22, not a great brand, but I pick them up pretty cheap anyways. We're still making money, $14.95 plus shipping on this guy. And I had two of these, and I've really got to start remembering that the palm quarter isn't particularly the best one. Obviously the handy cam is gonna be the one that's the best. All right, we sold a pair of men's Patagonia board shorts here. Nothing amazing, but my wife picks these up at the Goodwill, and occasionally I can find some Patagonia stuff. Usually I find the Patagonia stuff down a little bit closer to Roanoke than I do in, in my area, my neck of the woods right here. But what's well, a nice little pair of shorts, sold for $17.95, free shipping. And I think my wife picked these up at Goodwill, which would have been a $2.99 buy. All right, since I have the opportunity here, because Reagan is with us, Reagan's gonna help us ship today. So she came in and I said, listen, I'm not done with this video yet. So you're gonna have to wait a minute. Oh, you tired there, Sophie? <laughs> So she's waiting around. I said she could hang out here. And I thought we could tell somebody thank you because the number four just got bought. So, Reagan, would you like to thank this person? Do you remember their name? 
Thank you, Ron. That's right. Ron bought this, and Ron, we do appreciate it. And it's $5 plus shipping. And this, all of the proceeds are going to go where? St. Jude's. We're doing everything's going to St. Jude's this month, right? Yep. Okay, so we will definitely do that. And are you going to help me ship it off? Yep. Okay. Have you ever shipped one of these yet? I think I've shipped all of them. Okay, so I am going to teach you how to ship that thing, okay? And maybe a couple of days from now, you might put another one up, or maybe by the time they see this video, since we're a day behind. Yeah. Okay, so you always got to check back. I know a lot of people have been looking, and Ron just happened to get it at the right time. You want to say thank you, Sophie? No, oh, you want to leave. <laughs> All right, we have been selling these fairly quickly lately. Thank goodness. Don't have very many left, but they've been here, I think, for three years Terrible retail arbitrage buy at Walmart. We're still making money. $2.50 is what we paid for them, and I bought a whole basket full of them. $2.50, and these are now selling for $9.99 plus shipping. So we're making a little bit of money on it, but I'm just happy they're gone. And so you'll notice the, the summer sports things, definitely time to list them, especially when a lot of the beaches look like they're opening up or have already opened up. All right, I found, I think I said this yesterday, we, we had a an awesome little haul that I didn't even remember we had. It was inside of a backpack. My oldest son packages up. He's kind of an organizer. So when I need something organized, I'm like, hey, I'll give you a little bit of money. Take this, organize it, make this giant pile into some neat organized pile that I can process a little better. And he does, but sometimes he combines things and he put a bunch of plush and a bunch of video game stuff inside of a bag. Uh, I think it was a Speed Stacks backpack. And I opened it, I was going to list the bag, and you know, the bag I get like 10, 12 bucks for, and I'm like, this is kind of heavy. And I unzipped it, and there's all kinds of video games in there, and I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, these things are going to sell so fast, and sure enough, they did. So this one was $38.95, I think plus shipping, I got to look, $38.95, either way, shipping's what, three bucks on this thing anyway. So $38.95 for this little Pokemon Fire Red. If you ever find the Pokemon games, they sell really well. Matter of fact, you need to be careful because a lot of them are reproductions at this point. This one is authentic and it sold for $38.95. So that's a huge little moneymaker for something I didn't even know I had. And the Super Mario one as well. I think this was uh, 15 bucks for this one. And then the Nintendo DS and this one was, I think, $14.95 as well for this tiny little guy right here. Or little girl, I guess. So we sold those erasers the other day. The actual erasers that go in this running machine. And you see how you plug it in and it just automatically vibrates and erases everything that you need to erase. You doing all right down there, Sophie? Can y'all hear Sophie make a noise? I think she wants out, don't you? This one ended up selling for $25.95 plus shipping and we have made a ton of money. We're going to end up making like $150, maybe not that much, $125 to $135 profit on a bag. I bought this, I think four boxes of erasers for $1.99. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want out. All right, before we head in, I want to thank Jerry, and I think Jerry, your wife too, the West Virginia native is your wife, and now she's a Jersey girl. So we have this awesome West Virginia plate. We don't have a West Virginia plate yet, and that is awesome. Here's some pictures. They don't have an Instagram, so they sent some pictures. There's the Inna man right there. And the cool lanterns, by the way. I have that video about lanterns over there on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Here's their eBay workspace and the Inman right there. That is very nice of you. And let me see here. I read this a little while ago, but I can't remember exactly if there's anything we need to say on here that I didn't say. Here we go. Now forced into full-time Jersey underscore shore underscore thrifter. So she's been the reseller for a long time, and you're the newbie I see. Awesome. Her store name is Shabby Cottage Shop. Awesome. Thank y'all so much. And West Virginia is near to my heart. I remember I have a buddy who, who lived up there, and uh, now he lives down in Roanoke, Virginia. But I remember going up to a Mountaineers football game and watching all the couches burn up there. On the... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of course not. So I think maybe I have a nuclear tote up here. I think this might end up being the West Virginia tote. I think so. We need one more West Virginia one, though, to make it a double. All right, I tell you, as I'm in here, I'm a little bit nervous. This is the first time I've ever let Reagan do some shipping on her own. Now, she's not going to ship all kinds of stuff, just some basic, simple stuff that I've been teaching her how to do. Not just package by herself, but actually go on the computer and go through the process of putting in the ounces if we need to do that. 
and printing the label and putting it on. So she's doing it all by herself. So I'm in a little bit of a rush. I want to make sure she does it right. But I see on my phone, it's like, you just bought postage. You just bought postage. So she's rolling out there. At any rate, this is a Liberty shirt that sold. Club Colors. Not a great shirt, not a great polo, and it's the old emblem, the old embroidery, which a lot of people like the old style stuff. So if you went to a particular college and they changed mascots or changed emblems, a lot of times the old stuff is worth a little bit more money. I don't know that that's the case here. Probably is not the case here. But it is something to look out for, some of those old emblems. Matter of fact, some of those politically incorrect emblems from the past tend to do pretty well as well. So it is something to look out for. At any rate, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping, and it probably could have been a Goodwill buy, but my guess is I just picked it up at a garage sale for a buck or two, so we're going to make six, seven, eight, nine dollars depending on how much I paid for it. I have an man going out to Steve and one going out to Gina, and Gina writes, Hello, Kevin. I just started my eBay store less than a month ago. Wow, pretty new. That's good. I'm hoping that you rub a little of your eBay magic touch on the Anna man before you send it. Thank you for sharing your knowledge so freely and honestly and for sharing your beautiful family with us. Thanks so much. My new store is this in the in letter in this in that vintage and more. So and there's a dot between each of those words there. This dot in that you get the point. Thanks again, Gina from Ohio. Gina, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your kindness, for your kind words. And we hope this guy here, I don't I don't know how you want me to these guys are pretty lucky anyways. I'm pretty sure he'll get a few things sold for it. Y'all, we're getting low on the 415 available. That just blows my mind. We had, we had I bought 1,500 at one point, but I already had like 200. So we have sold a ton of those. Now, I've pulled a few aside to keep for the long run, and I've put some misfits. Every time we come across one that has a serious flaw on it, we put it over there. Maybe we'll put the misfits on the Commonwealth Picker store when this is when they're all sold out or something. I'm not quite sure. Hey, speaking of, I've had a lot of people ask me about the mug. So at this point, we're probably not going to redo this mug. I don't know. I suppose it's a possibility. Uh, Reagan has, is non-committal. I really am letting her run this thing and make the decisions. I try to influence her the best I can. But if she says, hey, let's do this, then we're going to do that because she's having a blast with it. At any rate, a couple of people have asked about how many broke first class. So we did decide to ship them all first class. So, so far, the best I can tell, and I'm looking at Instagram, email, everything I can look at, even other people's videos who are YouTubers that have them out there, I count 44 that I know have successfully made it and two breaks. So that is fine. To me, to save, think about it for a second. If we sell 90 of these things and you save almost $3 a piece by going first class, I mean, that's $270 in, in savings that, that we didn't have to charge to people. And to have two break, that's great. Now, if we have 20 break, that's a problem. But to have even 10 break, you're still going to be better off. So we don't want any of them to break, obviously. So far, we're 44 for 46 that I know of. And my guess is we're better than that. Because if people would have had them break, they would have sent me the picture of them breaking, but they wouldn't have necessarily sent me anything if they got them okay. So there's a little bit of an update for those of you that asked out there. Now we also had like five go overseas and I'm a little scared about those because those will be delayed. By the time you see this video, everybody in America has got theirs and maybe even one or two in Canada, although I doubt it. So we'll have to wait on the ones that went to New Zealand or to Belgium, I think. Or I think we had one go to the Netherlands and one go to the UK, so and a few other places, so Canada especially. All right, an American Eagle. I put vintage in the title. I put vintage fit because it says vintage fit. It certainly is not vintage. We've been selling a lot of this type shirt lately. We've sold like four pearl snap type shirts lately, and I'm not quite sure why they're selling all of a sudden, but this one sold. I'm happy it did. $11.81 plus shipping on this pearl snap and they're not really pearl snaps that's what they're called by the way that's a goodwill buy for three dollars and 99 cents i got this in a man going out to brian brian says we are youtube subscribers and love and appreciate your channel watch it every day we have an ebay store toby's treasure trove named after our five pound yorkie that's awesome my uh, wife sharon has been a full-time ebay for about two years now and loves it this is for her. That's awesome. I really like it. Hopefully you're not getting this for Mother's Day for. I don't know about that kind of gift. This is for, although at Valentine's Day, we had quite a few people buy these for Valentine's Day. 
you you have more guts than that. If I gave this to my wife for Mother's Day, I might not be allowed back upstairs anytime soon. I might have to sleep out there in that Commonwealth cabin. I'm pretty sure I would, actually. This is for her. Thanks for sharing your knowledge, Scott. Thanks so much, and we hope your wife enjoys it. Hey, before I forget, let me show you these real quick because these are really cool. I'm going to show them to you, and then I'm going to read this note. They're all three from Michigan. And I think we have some from Michigan. I think uh, D from Flippin' Particles sent us some. I like that one. It's kind of plain and it's cool because it's got world's motor capital right there in Michigan, of course, Detroit, which is really, really neat. I like that little uh, American history right there. And then you have Michigan's spectacular peninsulas because they have all the lakes up there, which is neat. But this one is the one that I think is awesome. Matter of fact, this one is so cool. It's going to end up in the front side of the Commonwealth cabin. I really like it. Matter of fact, if I was a really nice guy, I would send this over to Patriot Picker, but I'm not that nice. I'm keeping this one for myself. So we're going to dust that one off a little bit, polish it up, and we're going to put it up in the front side of that Commonwealth cabin. I think that one is awesome. And let me tell you who sent it to me. So this is from a long time viewer. Like you have been here a long time. Vintage Digs. And he has a YouTube channel. He hasn't posted in a long time. But you might want to go over there and show him some love anyways. Vintage Digs. He's been really nice to us and really nice to our channel and supportive for a long time. Matter of fact, there's probably only two that have really been here as long or longer, maybe three. Thrifty as me, probably been here longer than anybody. Rideshare reseller, Thrifting Adventures, Vintage Digs, and there's a few others as well. Those are the ones that have YouTube channels, and there have been so many of you viewers that have been here since like the 100s, and we appreciate you, and we love your comments out there. By the way, we love it when all of you comment. I can't get to all the comments all the time. And I know a lot of you out there watch on like a Roku TV or something where you can't comment. And we still appreciate you and we appreciate you watching. I wish I could get to know you a little bit better than I do. And those comments are a great way to do it. But we appreciate all those that do comment and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all those things. We really, really do appreciate it. And it's been fun to get to know some of you through those comments. And we're glad you're getting to know us. So let me just read what he says. Hi, hope all of you are doing well. Love your video. Thought I would dig up some Michigan plates because I haven't seen them on your wall and send them to you. I know I haven't put out any videos in quite some time. I've had a lot in the way of distractions. Hope everything's well out there for you, Phil. It is Phil, I think, right? Did you say in here? It's Phil. I'll just call you Vintage Digs. I hope to get back to it someday. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the plates and have continued success keep up the great work phil thank you so much it means a lot coming from you and i love those plates all right here's a quick one six dollars and fifty cents free shipping and you might be like why in the world are you even selling this thing this was in a giant box full of electronics polycom stuff from a church sale they were just unloading it they had a new system sold a lot of the components off for a lot of money and i have a hard time you know i'm cheap if i can make two dollars i'm gonna make two bucks off of this maybe a tiny bit more and I'm like, sure, I'll list it, whatever, no problem. And it took a year and a half to sell, but I got my 250. This one's going out to the Bransons. Love the channel. Thanks for all the tips. He will be a great addition to our eBay garage. I would love to buy a picture when your daughter gets the next one finished, which would have been today and it's gone. So maybe by the time you see this, go ahead and check on there and you might find one on there. So she can't, we are seriously considering what a lot of people have suggested out there and that is to make a picture and then to mass produce maybe a hundred of them because they are for such a good cause. But we do like the idea of you getting something personal from her. So I'm tending not to go that direction at this point and maybe we'll do something like that in the future. But I like the idea that she gets to do something personal. She really loves doing it and she feels like she is doing something for some other child who is sick and that makes me kind of want to cry. So I would like to continue to do what she's doing the way we're doing it and maybe eventually you'll get one, you know, who knows. At any rate, thank you to the Bransons and we hope you enjoy. Hey, this was from our free deal that we got, an acquaintance. We just made it known that we sell stuff from Liberty, and they said, oh, you do here. I was going to take this to the Goodwill. Here, take this giant bag full of stuff that turned out to be well over $200 worth of profit. This one didn't sell for much, but it sold for $14.88, free shipping, and it is free to us, and it's really, really light. So, you know, we're going to end up making like $9 on this shirt, which is awesome. All right, looks like that's it for today. Thank you, as always, for joining us. We really do appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Let me see it. You point at it. No, there it is. Hi, Froggy. How you doing? <laughs> it's I so think tiny. he's a little scared, huh? Yeah, it's just been in the same spot. Reagan's out here doing some weeding <laughs> yeah. and found a frog. <laughs>
it hopped and it scared me.